In November, we just had a brand new set spoil and a brand new card banned on the Oathbreaker ban list, and I'm going to tell you all about it. Welcome to the Signature Spell Bomb, where we keep you up to date on current Magic the Gathering and WotC news that affect the community with the Oathbreaking news. Today, I'm going to go over the unscheduled November 6th banning of the card Jeweled Lotus, following the article from OathbreakerMTG.org. If you want to read the full article, there will be a link in the description. The article titled, Jeweled Lotus is Banned, was posted November 6th and reads, Unlike the Commander Rule Committee, which announced that they were aware of this card was going to be printed, we found out about this card when it was spoiled last week. We talked quite a bit in chats and had a meeting discussing this card earlier this week. As part of our discussions, we initially agreed that this card would most likely be banned after 90 days. The primary purpose for our discussion was mainly to decide whether to ban it now or to wait for the 90 days. The intention of the 90 day policy is to allow new interesting cards to see some play before they get banned. Jeweled Lotus does not provide any interesting new plays as it accelerates an already fast format. We have already banned comparable cards such as Lion's Eye Diamond and or Dark Ritual. Dark Ritual and Line 9 Diamond were banned primarily because of their interaction with the Command Zone. Jeweled Lotus has all of the same problems, but without having to discard your hand, plus it costs one less mana compared to Dark Ritual. Because of these comparisons, we feel we have already tested arguably worse versions of this card and already banned them. However, this does not mean we won't do our due diligence. We will continue to test this card internally. We are going to start with it banned and test it from that perspective of whether or not to ban the card. We will provide updates at our regularly scheduled announcement. So this banning announcement was not scheduled and was a direct reaction to the new Commander Legends set that will be coming out. The next scheduled banning announcement was going to be on December 26th. So we'll just gonna have to stay tuned and see what the Oathbreaker Rules Committee decides. In my personal opinion, this card doesn't functionally make Oathbreaker better. Much fast mana is banned in the format, so it's not very playable. I don't feel like it's very flavorful. flavorful. And just because a card looks like it is a power nine, that does not make it a power nine. That does not intrinsically increase the value of this card it does not make it a reserve list card. This card will probably get multiple printings and in no way should be driving a price point of $120 to $150 or more at prior to release. It's not going to be probably a great competitive card. Most of the times this card will be good is in that one of Magic Christmas Land scenario where you draw the one card out of your deck in your opening hand. Now that's my opinion. I would really like to hear you guys' opinion based on the information I reported today. Please let me know about it in the comments below. Now if you like content like the Oathbreaking News, you can support us just by doing your regular hobby shopping at tcgplayer.com, Inked Gaming, or even the Signature Spellbomb Merchandise Store. All of these links will be in the description. It really helps out the channel. A quick reminder, be like a planeswalker and show your loyalty by subscribing to this channel. And if you want more Oathbreaker content today, then check out the playlists here on the end card. And remember, I can't do this without you, and I wouldn't.